back to part 30 or 40 something of creating this watch instead of my 2018. So what we're going to be doing today is, um, one, one thing I noticed is that this piece, as you can see, is a lot thicker than what we've got going on here. So we're going to change that. And so yeah, let's get right in. Um, I'm going to select both of these pieces and just scale them up way more, something like that and then plop them like that and then there should be text under there so let's see if I just drag select that and then shift select these pieces let's see it's like right there shift select these pieces yeah okay just so I can get this text selected and then just bring that up and the same for here I'm just gonna it's about like there yep and I want them to be just one face sticking out basically so that looks pretty good so now I'm going to save this and I'm going to go look to get um, an infinity symbol because if you um, notice over here there is these two infinity symbols and if I go into the internet here um, let's see where is it um, in our watch you can see those infinity symbols so Instead of modeling this, what we're going to do instead is I'm going to type in infinity symbol and try and find one that looks about the same. So let's see if I drag this all the way over to here. It actually looks about the same. I could try and get one that matches maybe even more. These are practically the same. Um, try and find one that matches maybe even exactly is a bit hard, but I think something like this looks good, although we could, we could use this piece maybe. Just, whoops, take a look at how this one looks. As you can see, we got the infinity symbols right here. It basically just looks like that, so if we don't find one that looks close enough, then we can just not do it. Okay, but I think this piece actually looks good. And then if we scale it down, um, it'll look how we want. So there is this cool website, which I will link both the this thing right here and this website I'm about to go to. So if I actually create a new tab, I have it bookmarked. Um, it's called Selva 3D right here. And basically, if you just create like a free account, um, which is not working right now, then well, let me just make this work all right i just used my fake facebook account to sign into here and so as you can see what we can do is we can just upload any image so i'm gonna go back to our infinity symbol here and just save this the higher quality image you have of course the higher quality it will be but um this is pretty good um this piece right here so we go back to our silver 3d thing i'm just gonna put this image in remember both of these will be in the description below and i need to see where this is saved as well um, save to my blueprints folder so right here actually if I just put this in um, it will create a 3d model of that and all we can do is just do download this and it takes like a minute but um, it'll download it and send you an STL file which we can put into Maya so let's just pause this Right, as you can see it has now downloaded an STL so I'm just gonna see where this saved just to there but I'm gonna bring this to somewhere I can find it so like I don't know I'll just put this into like pictures and I'm gonna go back into Maya over here and I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go to file import and go to wherever it would be so I saved it to my pictures folder just so that is easily accessible so it will import the STL and as you can see we now have an infinity symbol which is great because we don't have to work on it at all and it's just there already and yep so if we bring this down and go into our top view here I'm gonna move this reference away too because it's kind of in the way um, and select our infinity symbol here open up our channel box and rotate this negative 90 degrees so it looks like that and then it seems to me like it's basically just right there so take a look at the real one it's practically just 
Let's see here. Also, we need to scale this down a bit to like a bit more than that, maybe even something like that. And then that basically looks exactly like the one over there. So it's pretty easy. Um, so now we can just position this correctly. So it looks to me like it kind of just goes about here or something. And take a look at this if we were to drop it down to like here. I'm going to apply a color to this as well just because, whoops, it's a new piece. So let's give this a simple blend of like something that'll be a nice pastelish color. So something like that. Um, take a look at our infinity symbol compared to a real one. Um, I think we could do a better job of rotating this up and then bringing this to like here. So that looks pretty good. Uh, we can select that now and go into our top view. Press T to take our um, pivot and just bring this down to that center point like right there. And then if I do control D to duplicate this, actually before I do that, freeze our transformations and then press D. Hold down V and then snap that to there. Now if we duplicate this, um, I think I duplicated it, yep, we can just put this negative one on the scale X and it will transfer exactly over to the other side. So as you can see, we now have those infinity symbols at the top. Just another piece to our huge puzzle here. So that'll be this episode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.